Hello and welcome to Blender Video Tutorial number 14. And uh, I decided that we should just take a break uh, for a couple tutorials from modeling and the edit buttons and go ahead and try out some simulations such as cloth simulation and uh, water. And uh, we're going to do the cloth simulation first. So uh, to start out with, go ahead and delete the default cube. And we're going to add a mesh. And it's going to be a plane. Just gonna scale it up a good bit, not too much, and subdivide it about six times. Okay. Now we have a plane with fairly good amount of vertices, and in object mode, go ahead and, and set it to smooth. Okay. I'm just gonna set this camera and light into another layer with the M key, and uh, with this object selected go ahead and hit the object mode and we're going to bring in another one it's another mode besides edit and it's weight paint mode go into weight paint mode and don't worry about all these settings just yet just set the uh, just set the weight all the way up and the opacity to uh, 1 okay uh, okay now that we have this set just hold down the mouse button and let it completely turn to red. Uh, there's you you go through uh, multiple layers of color before you get to the official color. The red color means that it will not move from its position. Uh, the other colors, such as the green and yellow and lighter blue and darker blue, represent uh, that they can be pulled. Uh, the darker the darker colors or the order it goes in means it has so much pull and then so much not pull and just this uh, completely red means it has to where it can not pull at all and the, this dark blue is uh, this is unpainted and when it's unpainted it means it moves by whatever force is being applied to it okay let's go ahead and go to object mode now that our uh, mesh has been weight painted and if we notice down here in object in the edit buttons window and object mode when we weight painted it created a new group this is a vertex group oh sorry I'm going to zoom in on this our uh, when we weight painted that object they created a group and by default they called a group we're just going to call this cloth oh sorry okay cloth and uh, you don't need to change all these everything else is fine I just need to let you know that you need to know that uh, your vertex group was created. A vertex group really is just when you, your vertices get as, get assignments such as the white paint and you have to create a vertex group for those to be uh, applied to. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in and try out some physics on uh, our new our cloth that we just created. Uh, go to the physics button which is the three eight arrows and in our physics button we will see the the uh, particles button hit that one and go to the uh, soft body animation okay we don't need to worry about soft body collision just yet we'll just do soft body for this tutorial hit soft body and uh, where it says use goal this is the default goal with uh, this says no this is no vertex group we want to use our vertex group we just created so the goal will be the cloth okay if we scroll out a little bit and uh, we hit alt a to play the animation we notice that our cloth notice that our cloth almost has a little bit of a jiggle to it okay uh, actually uh, now that you have seen this, uh, we can edit some more buttons around, such as the mass. Just try out a few. You can edit this around as much as you want. And uh, I usually set gravity to 10 and set the mass up a good bit. You can play around with the speed and stuff like that. And uh, you just keep getting uh, more and more simulation and effects. Uh, you have your stiffnesses and all types of things. Uh, 
the damp, the dampness here, is uh, kind of how much stretchiness it has. Let's set that up a little bit. Okay. Adds a little more uh, <clears throat> to your animation there. Okay. I'll just set the mass up a, a, uh, a lot more. It's about 17. And now we can really see it sink down. Okay. I wouldn't use this for an ocean or anything like that. Uh, I tried it once and it just doesn't look very good when you do that. Okay. So now that we've seen this, uh, I'm just going to go back to the uh, white paint and the edit buttons again. I'm going to turn down the weight to zero. Exit out. Scroll back out. And I'm just going to bring all this off. I'm just going to get all this off of here. Okay. So now that all this is gone, everything will move except for this strip here. Just going to add some more heavy weight to that. Alright. So go to object mode. And go back to our particles for our cloth. We'll just add hit 5 for perspective and hit Alt A to watch our animation hmm very awkward effect not quite sure why I did that but anyway Uh, you kind of get the idea. You can play around with these settings a, a good bit. And uh, one more thing before we, uh, before I finish this tutorial is you can add spacebar and add a empty. An empty is pretty. It's just uh, just a way of storing information without having a mesh or something like that. And uh, with your empty selected, you can go here where it says fields and the particles motion and hit wind. We zoom in as close as I can. You can see there's a ring around this now. Just hit this S key, scale it up a little bit. Use this one and you can drag it. Oh not yet, hold on. Use uh you might want to hit the use max distance and bring this out a little bit and you'll see this uh dotted circle come around it. Okay, I'm just gonna just drag this over here, put it at this angle, so it kind of blows up towards towards our cloth. We hit all A, we can see the effect. See, it's just blowing that that uh, that mesh around. You can see where the circle is, how it affects it here. You can even set the uh, strength up for that okay try it without the max distance now it really has a large effect on it okay and you can just play around with these settings and uh Experiment around, see what you want, see what you like, and uh, just keep trying uh, different different things, and uh, or you can just wait for new tutorials to come out. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed this one. You can try it out. You can render your animation by oh, uh, you can render your animation by going to render and render animation, but I wouldn't do that just yet until we've discussed a little bit more of the settings, or else you'll just have a bunch of pictures rather than a video. Okay, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this video.